What's Redux Thunk? Redux Thunk is a middleware for the Redux library. But what does that mean? Let me explain to you. If we, are, if we open SRC and open our actions, user actions, you'll notice here that our actions are plain JavaScript objects. And this action creator is a, a normal function. We cannot use asynchronous operations, such as making network requests. For example, to get data from database, to post data to database. We cannot even using an async await functions in that action creator. But what if we want to call to make a, an HTTP request, for example, to get some data? For that reason, we need to use Redux Thunk. All what you need, just go to store and let's install that package. Yarn add Redux Thunk and let's install to an Axios library. This library allows us to make HTTP requests. So now let's install them and let's install our bots. This step is optional if, are, if you are using Android. So let's see the iOS. Bot install. And let's run our project. Now first let's import our thunk middleware. Like that, import thunk from Redux thunk. All what you need to add that small code here in create store function. Let's add apply middleware. We can import that from Redux at top here. And just put inside it our thunk. That's it. Now, if we go back to our actions, now we can create an actions with async, with asynchronous operations. For example, let me fetch that ABI. Here, that ABI, that return a list of box, we're gonna fetch it. So let's copy that URL of it and go, let's create an action called export const get users box equals function. Inside this function, we're gonna return an async function. Okay, return async. And let's make our ABI call here. Const data equals to Axios. We, we are using this Axios in networking because Axios is simpler and easier than fetch. So we are using it. Axios.get, we're gonna make a a uh, get request and let's put our URL with the endpoint. Let's just add try and catch try try catch blocks to if we in case we have some errors we can log them. Okay, catch error console dot log the error. Okay, let's just format our code. That's it for now. Now we want to connect that get user spoke. With our reducer, we can make the connection on the type here. That type, login, logout, as I mentioned before. So let's go to types folder and add some and add a new type. This type is gonna be export const get users box equals to get users box. Okay, and let's copy that type and go here. And let's dispatch it. We just add a param here called dispatch. And here we're gonna dispatch our action with the type. Like before, the type, we put the type and the payload. Okay, the type is gonna be get users box, and the payload is gonna be the data. Now this action is responsible for getting the data from that ABI. From that ABI. He's responsible for get the box, okay? So now let's go to our reducer and add a case. Down here, case, get users box. What are we gonna do in that case? We're just gonna return our state and we just need to add our box array, our box here, users, in our initial state, okay? Users, box, it's gonna be an empty array, okay? 
user, bo user box. Now we're gonna return a copy of state and the user box is gonna be the payload. The payload. That payload is the response that is coming from that endpoint, okay? Let's save it and try it. We're just going to home screen. Const users box equals to use selector state of type root state equals to state dot user data dot user box okay or we can use object destruction we can remove that user box and just open an object and just add user box okay let's try to log them Now, if we see our terminal, we got an empty array. Why we got an empty array? Because we didn't dispatch our action yet. And in our global state here, our user box are an empty array. But when we dispatch that action, that action is gonna get the book list from that endpoint, and it's gonna send, send it to that global state of users, of users box. So let's dispatch, that, let's dispatch that action, get users box. So let's inside our use effect. Just dispatch get users box actions. Okay, and let's press save and let's go to our terminal. Oops, unfind. Why we why we get unfind? Let let me check, please. I know why we got undefined. If we open our get users box actions. That action, we forgot to add a weight here. We just add async, but we forgot to add a weight. Okay, when we press save, now we get our data. We, get, we can get list of box. Let me just format or make or beautify that log. You can beautify it using JSON. JSON.stringify and just put whatever you want to log and add those two parameters, null and two. And let's press save and let's go to our log. Now our log is formatted. Those are our box. Created at that date, the author, that's the cover book of the book, that's the name of the book, and that's the price. So in this lesson, we're, we've learned about fetching EBI and using Redux Thunk. In next lesson, we're gonna take those data, the user's box, user box and we're gonna create a flat list here in our home screen and display or render those data here see you in the next lesson and thanks for watching